The Lone Peak American Four game has become so popular, they've moved both meetings to the UCCU Center at Utah Valley University. The latest game in this rivalry featured two top five teams and some of the best talent in the state. Packed. It's always crazy. There's always a lot of talk about it. Um, it's definitely a fun experience to play in it, too. This year we'll want it even more just because it's Lone Peak and you always want that rivalry. These are the kind of games you want to play in, and uh, you want to have something on the line, which there definitely is. Start guarding him off the bus, uh, <laughs> but he, he is that kind of a player. He can get on a streak. That's exactly what he did. Oz made four three-point shots and scored 17 points in the first half. Fun to coach. <laughs> when he's making shots like that, you know, I mean, uh, he came out really focused and, and ready to go. He's been in so many big games, been on the big stage so many times, and you can really see his experience in a game like this. TJ didn't make every shot. Tyler Rawson made sure of it. American Fort kept pace thanks to the inside presence of BYU bound center Ryan Andrus. Rawson with a great pass to Andrus that tied the game at 26. Lone Peak took momentum into the locker room thanks to the great passing of Haas. Frank Jackson beats the buzzer and the Knights led by six at the break. The third quarter belonged to Haas and Lone Peak. He caught fire again, scoring 16 points in the quarter. While American Fork was held to just nine, the Knights took a 20-point lead. The Cavemen would make a run in the fourth quarter. Brendan Bailey led an 8-2 run, and they cut the lead to seven. But the rally fell short. T.J. Haas finished with 36 points and seven three-point shots as Lone Peak claimed round one of the rivalry. Andrus had 21 in the loss. Hey, my teammates got me the ball tonight. That was <laughs> definitely a fun game. You know, the atmosphere is, is crazy. AF such a good team, um, and they brought it for four quarters. They came at us that fourth quarter, but we weathered their storm and, you know, came out the win. Tell you what, that's as high a level of game as you're going to see there for that first half. Uh, second half, I thought we had a great third quarter and they struggled and vice versa in the fourth. Uh, but that was a high level game right there.